Yahudith, Judith, 12. Then he commanded to bring her in where his plate was set and bade that they should prepare for her of his own meats and that she should drink of his own wine. And Yahudith said, I will not eat thereof, lest there be an offense, but provision shall be made for me of the things that I have brought. Then Holofernes said unto her, If your provision should fail, how should we give you the like? For there be none with us of your nation. Then said Yahudith unto him, As your soul lives, my lord, your handmaid shall not spend those things that I have. Before Yahuwah, work by my hand the things that he has determined. Then the servants of Holofernes brought her into the tent, and she slept till midnight, and she arose when it was toward the morning watch, and sent to Holofernes, saying, Let my lord now command that your handmaid may go forth unto prayer. Then Holofernes commanded his guard that they should not stay her. Thus she abode in the camp three days, and went out into the night, rather, and went out in the night into the valley of Beit Ulya, and washed herself in a fountain of water by the camp. And when she came out, she besought Yahweh Elohim of Yashedael to direct her way to the raising up of the children of her people. So she came in clean and remained in the tent until she did eat her meat at evening. And in the fourth day, Holofernes made a feast to his own servants only and called none of the officers to the banquet. Then said he to Bagaos the eunuch, who had charge over all that he had, Go now and persuade this Ivri woman which is with you that she come unto us and eat and drink with us. For lo, it will be a shame for our person if we shall not, rather, if we shall let such a woman go, not having had her company, for if we draw her not unto us, she will laugh us to scorn. Then went Bagaos from the presence of Holofernes and came to her, and he said, Let not this fair damsel fear to come to my lord, and to be honored in his presence, and drink wine, and be merry with us, and be made this day as one of the daughters of Ashur, which serve in the house of Nebuchadne Setzer. Then said Yahudith unto him, Who am I now that I should gainsay, my lord? Surely whatsoever pleases him I will do speedily, and it shall be my joy unto the day of my death. So she arose and decked herself with her apparel and all her woman's attire, and her maid went and set, laid soft skins on the ground for her over against Holofernes, which she had received of Bagaos for her daily use, that she might sit and eat upon them. Now when Yahudith came in and sat down, Holofernes, his heart was ravished with her, and his mind was moved, and he desired greatly her company, for he waited a time to deceive her from the day that he had seen her. Then said Holofernes unto her, Drink now and be merry with us. So Yahudith said, I will drink now, my lord, because my life is magnified in me this day more than all the days since I was born. Then she took and ate and drank before him what her maid had prepared, and Holofernes took great delight in her, and drank more wine than he had drunk at any time in one day since he was born.